This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Productions and Collaboration in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you a very fast way to move projects from Premiere to audition for audio mixing, then back to Premiere for final output. It's surprisingly easy, very powerful, and an effective way to get the best sound of your audio without doing a mix inside Premiere. Let me show you. Let us pretend that this incredible documentary called Earth and Space, and it's Dr. Vince Cerf talking about the interplanetary internet. <laughs> I had the great honor of recording Dr. Cerf back in 2004, so this is a 16-year-old interview talking about something that has happened about eight years ago, but I enjoy it still to this day and thank Dr. Surf for sharing the video with us. Except, when I recorded it, I didn't really pay much attention to what was going on, and if we look at these dialogue levels, they're really soft. Now, don't panic, I'm not feeding you the audio, you're just hearing my voice, so this is something where you get to watch the meters, but you won't actually hear it. I could select these clips and apply the gain control, and I could start to put a mix together inside Premiere, but the problem is the audio tools inside Premiere pale to what's available in Audition, and the Audition interface is designed for audio the way that Premiere is designed for video. So I'm going to select this sequence, go up to the Edit menu, go down to Edit in Adobe Audition, and take that whole sequence and send it to Audition. We're going to just take all the defaults, change none of the settings, and Audition is running in the background, so I don't have to wait for it to launch. But as you can see, the export process took about four seconds. And it warns me that the volume setting, which I applied inside Premiere, has been converted to an Amplify setting, which is not a problem. But look at how small these waveforms are. Oh, cool thing. Watch this. If I select a clip and control click on it, and slide down. See this thing called lock and time? I love this. Whenever I bring a mix into Audition, I select lock and time, and now whenever I grab a clip, I can't move it. I can move it up and down, I can move it between tracks, but I can't change the timing, which means I lock all of my clips for time, and I guarantee the sync is not gonna break, even if I do clip moving from track to track, and I do a lot. Well, the first thing I want to do is to get a consistent level across all these clips. Well, I'll show you. Go to Window, go down to Match Loudness. That opens up the Match Loudness window. I'm going to select, by dragging this out of the way, I'm going to select all of the audio clips that I pulled in from Premiere and drag them over to here. Now, I'm going to set the true peak level to negative 3. And when I click Run, it goes through, figures out what the level is, and now the peaks of all of those clips are set to negative 3. And look at the waveform. That's changed as well. I'm going to select the track, and which I do for all the mixes. Every webinar gets, gets mixed inside Audition before I post it. I'm going to go to the Effects Rack, and I add two filters to it. I've saved these as a, as a preset. I add a parametric equalizer to make the highs a little bit crisper so you can understand the words, and a multiband compressor to make sure my audio doesn't exceed a certain level. I'm going to add a brick wall limiter, set it to negative 4, and now I guarantee that this whole mix, the dialogue is going to be loud, the voice is going to be sweet, and everything is going to sound great. Now, rather than play it for you and do the mix, which takes a whole amount of time, as we know, I'm going to just pretend the mix is done. I go back up to File, Export. Now, if I export the multi-track mix down as a session, I'm going to end up with a standalone WAV file. But I want to have it go right to Premiere and, and save me that grief. So I'm going to just take all the defaults. I'm going to mix down a stereo pair, although I could do stems. Mix down a stereo pair. Say Export. It warns me that I did this before, which I did in my earlier webinar. Save this to a new audio track. And we'll just take this up full screen, scroll down. There's the mix. I'm going to solo the mix, which turns off the rest of my audio. And now so when I play it, of an interplanetary extension of the internet. look at that level. It went from negative 24, it's up right around negative 3. 
which is where I want it for a web cast between negative six and negative three. I didn't have to generate a standalone movie. I didn't have to export any XML. I didn't have to mess around with spare files. It was all handled behind the scenes. Select the sequence, edit, send it to audition, do my mix, however that's defined, file, mix down, send it back to Premiere, open it, put it to a separate track, mute the tracks you don't want, like this one. I just want to have the, the mix come through. I'm working for the last six years or so on the design. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And best of all, it's fast. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at collaboration. <clears throat> this was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at collaboration and productions inside Adobe. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at productions and collaboration at Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 277. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our training... <clears throat> By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.